coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? <laughs> Wait a sec. You're not Zay. And you're not Cameron. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a good old standoff. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam. This is Zay. And today we are reacting to the movie Tombstone. And this is a movie that both Zay and I have not seen. Uh, we know it's a Western drama and it came out in 1993 it has kurt russell it has um val kilmer and i know val kilmer plays a character called doc holiday i don't know anything about doc holiday but i also know that um there's a character called wyatt earp i don't know if kurt russell plays that character but it would be kind of interesting because kurt russell's son is named Wyatt. So I don't know if there's a correlation huh. there, uh, but I have heard Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday. I've heard those names before, but I, I don't know anything about them, at least not that I can recall. Uh, Zay, is there anything you know about this movie uh, before we get into it? I've actually heard the name Wyatt Earp, uh, funny enough, from because uh, I, I watched a lot of battle raps. So that was actually the first time I'd ever heard Wyatt Earp was in someone referenced it. The reference, it wasn't anything specific, though, like to the movie. He just mm -hmm. said like old Western, like wider. It, it was getting into some line, but it makes sense that this is where it's coming from. Tombstone, wider, old Western. So um, other than that, I really don't know much about it. Uh, I'm super excited to get into this though. Uh, I like, I like Western movies. I think they're always interesting, uh, different too. usually kind of like the different environment and everything. So it's getting ready for it. Be blessed. All right. Uh, yeah. We do also know it's rated R. Uh, again, uh, other than that, we don't know too much. We're going in here pretty freaking blind uh there have been times where we've gone into movies blind and we've turned out to be like oh that's where they got this from so maybe there's some kind of classic line or meme or something from this movie that we'll mm -hmm. recognize when we go in but as of right now uh yeah pretty pretty uh pretty unsure about what we're about to get into other than it's a western thank you guys for being here if you like what you're watching leave a like down below subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and various other movies and as well as get three edited movie reactions ahead of youtube you can start october season right now on patreon the link for that is in the description Ugh, sorry i was Busy practicing my wildlife photography skills I learned online through Skillshare. What What is that? Oh, Skillshare? It's this wonderful online learning community where you can learn from creatives who are skilled in their field. I'm talking about the bird on your chair. What do you mean? Yeah. Skillshare offers a variety of different options, so find what you like. And if you're interested, help support the channel and get 30% off your first year by using our promo code Cam and Zay. Let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's get into Tombstone. I didn't shoot. Who else oh. is here? <laughs> <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> oh, those are sick. I want four those. of a kind. Y'all killed two cowboys. Uh oh. Oh. Damn. so crazy that everyone was just strapped back then everyone had yeah. a gun that was nuts yeah they pulled up said we you owe us blood tell him get on his knees <laughs> somebody get this stick oh. on his knees oh Ooh. you go to hell you first. Behold the pale horse. The man who sat on him was death. One of the four horsemen. Mm -hmm. And hell followed with him. Yeah. <laughs> there he is, Kurt. Honestly, killing the stash. Yeah. Well. Wyatt, I couldn't find a single store that had laudanum anywhere. Oh, Wyatt, yep. Yep. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna lie though, that's that's three people right there. That's three out of what the four horsemen could be. Yeah. And we haven't seen Val Kilmer yet. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Val. Good. Must be a peach of a hand. It's a gambler. Guess I'll just have to call. Think he's bluffing? I don't know. Come on, Cam. You play poker. Isn't that a daisy? That's a good damn hand, though. What was that? Four of a kind. Queens, I think. Oof. Why, yeah, baby. We cross. Ooh. Without them guns, you ain't nothing but a skinny lunger. Hey, what an ugly thing to say. But I have the gun. And also, <laughs> you have now no money. <laughs> oh, he's double. Quick. I wouldn't survive back then. And the fact that that can happen at any point is too would have me too anxious. Ooh, and he's slick with the knife. Ding. Burn you down. Oh. He oh. won the hand. He didn't. <laughs> I think they're robbing the place. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's Wait, crazy. That what money was his anyways. I mean, he he, he could have just <laughs> took it honestly. <laughs> well, they're not even taking their. Oh, okay, yeah, he is. Okay, I was about to oh. say. Hold on. <laughs> Did he take the glass, the shot glass too that he was drinking out of? He's like, I'll take that. <laughs> it's like. So they're kind of like a Bonnie and Clyde, Bonnie and Clyde. a little bit. I'm Wyatt Earp, and these are my brothers, Wyatt Earp and Morgan. Dodge City. Gave all that up. Everyone knows him. Dang. Side sheriff, I'm also tax collector, captain of the fire brigade, and chairman of the nonpartisan anti Chinese league. Got a lot of titles. <laughs> we got three lovely cottages coming up for rent. You're not going to find a better deal within town limits. Man's is like, oh, I also sit in here. Oh, okay. I'm also the doctor on site. Um, if you need anything, <laughs> trained financial advisor. <laughs> Can I see your manager? You're looking at him. You're looking at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only real law around here is the Cowboys. Cowboys. Okay. Oh, you know these guys are not going to take kindly to the Cowboys. Eh, uh, no. That's a regular slaughterhouse. Even the high rollers won't go near it. There you go. Yeah. Leave it to wider. Be like, well, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> Man's like, yeah, it's slaughterhouse. You don't want to go in there. Nobody goes there. Doesn't look like it. Huh? Or is it, or is it on the, uh, like, what? is it above the saloon? People don't go in there to gamble because, like, all you do is lose. He's like, the oh. high rollers won't even go in there. That's basically what he said. Kind of dead in here, isn't it? You don't listen too good, do you? Oh, I guess it's more dead than I thought. And God damn it, Junior! How many times am I gonna have to tell you to keep that damn cigar out of my face? <laughs> just... Well, for a man that don't go healed, you run your mouth kind of reckless, don't you? Well, I'm real scared. Damn right you're scared. <laughs> Go ahead, skin it. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. Look at his eyes. He looks evil. Yeah, like... I'm, I'm getting awful tired of your <laughs> I'm getting tired of <laughs> He's gonna cry. I said throw down, boy. Oh. Oh. Don't come back. Ever. That was insane. Oh, what do you say, Milt? He's bad. Five percent of the house takes on about right. He slapped him three times and said, "Do something," and the guy <laughs> just looked like he was gonna cry. His eyes turned to well up. <laughs> Why, Johnny Tyler? Where you going with that shotgun? I didn't know you was back in town. Goes up, slaps him. <laughs> do you always say that gambling's an honest trade? No, I said poker's an honest trade. It depends on how you look at it. I mean, it's not like anybody's putting a gun to their head now, is it? Well, well, well. <laughs> He's big as San Francisco in a few years and just as sophisticated. Oh, oh boy. Very cosmopolitan. <laughs> <laughs> Doc? Jack? What do you say, old friend? Oh, you're cool with him. 
Oh, this guy, I don't feel like he's going to fare very well here, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I, I could was going to say wrong. he fits in terribly <laughs> from the looks of it. Oh. But to madam. An enchanted moment. I'm Always. loving Val Kilmer's acting. I want one. Happy hunting. <laughs> I want one. Fetch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's basically like, excuse me? <laughs> hey, sister boy, give me some! Give me, give me, give me. So this is like the cowboy spot here. Yeah. I think they're all cowboys, cowboys. right? Cowboys. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's a juggling show. Juggling. Catch this. The worst they can do is boo. <laughs> Just... <laughs> There's cowboys in the crowd, never mind. I'm Henry the Fifth. Set the Yo, I am not going. So is that just how they seat. that's just how they send for the next act? <laughs> Upon St. Crispin's Day. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, gun safety was not a thing, bro. <laughs> this is like you just, just Yahoo! Could you imagine that like a football game? Bang, 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 bang. Just like, <laughs> <fire> <laughs> Was that a monkey? Is that a monkey? Was, that? <laughs> <laughs> was he dressed? It is. Oh. That's not the same girl that just came into town, right? Yeah. It kind of... is. Oh, it is. Okay. She fancies him. Damn, you may indeed, if you get lucky. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. oh geez. She's pissed. That the bottle Lou gave you? Yes, it is. Maybe you should see a doctor. <gasps> Ooh. I know what I'm doing. No, I don't need to see a doctor. All right. Just go. Yeah, this is a rocky relationship. Yeah. So, now we're in the mining business. There's a one, why? Turn into regular... There are deeds to people's houses. Hey, and what would you do if she walked in here? <laughs> oh, I'd probably ignore her. People can change, Doc. I'll remember you said that. Doc ain't buying it at all. But I think he, seriously, I do think he feels like he needs to be... Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, hell. So far, Except, not so good. <laughs> not so good. It's Marcus. Well, good for him. It's pain, painfully kind of rude, though. <laughs> Just be like, listen, I, I can't. I'm taken. What or huh? Damn! Just snatched, yo. Mm -hmm. You're messing with the wrong one, though. Law don't go around here. Savvy? I'm retired. Law just don't go around here. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Winner to the king, $500. <laughs> you must be Doc Holliday. Hold. Yeah, he Man, looks he's tough. Just... Yeah, he's going through it. I'm in my prime. Yeah, you look it. <laughs> that was, he's not wrong, though. I don't know. There's just something about him. Oh, something does he have a gun cock? Oh, no. Oh, he's, he's ready. ready, though. I Jake what I just... What does that mean? I don't know. Non ego. Some language. Juventus Stultorum. Sounds... Is it Latin? We don't want any trouble in here. Not in any language. That's Latin, darling. Oh, yeah, you were right. I hear he's real fast. You're not going to have a dick anymore if you keep up this behavior. That's so cool, though. It is cool. <laughs> that was slick, smooth. I'll give him that. That was a cool, that was a cool cowboy thing. <laughs> And he still manages to upstage him with a cup. <laughs> That's hilarious, actually. 
That's really funny. All right, yeah, he might be my favorites. I think I think Val Kilmer's character is my favorite. By far. On me. <laughs> but I'm really liking Wyatt. Like, oh he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's got this presence. Wyatt's got like that, yeah, that calm presence. Like you, you know, when he's in the room, Kilmer's got like that, like. It's like the way he talks, like that swag, like yeah. presence, like. Hello. Hello. Oh, of course. Ooh. I was beginning to think we'd never meet. I don't know this how to feel about This is fortuitous. I know. Because they do seem like they really like each other, but mm. I don't know if she is. Uh, what is it? She, I... That mare is in season. <laughs> <laughs> She's starting. Aww. Them the horses like each other. Too. It's crazy. He's wearing a white top. He has a black horse. She's wearing a black and she's yeah. on a white horse. Let's run it out of them. Yeah. I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like uh, I could, my read could be wrong, but I feel like she just wants him because she can't have him. This is cool. This is really cool to see. This is. They're cooking too. They're flying. <sighs> oh my that goodness. That's so cute. You! Yeah! Fun though, wasn't oh, it? Oh, this is bad. You die for fun? Yeah, well, they're in it now. You? you can't do this. Can't have horses getting with each other in the field with flowers. <laughs> like, in flower is... field, yeah. Are you happy? No, oh, I'm always happy. Unless I'm bored. That blonde woman, is that your wife? Yeah, I don't I don't like the vibes I'm getting. I see what she's doing. Are you happy? That woman's your wife, right? Yeah, what do you want out of life? Oh, she's And she's like, I'm I'm happy unless I'm bored. And it, like, like that might be what I'm trying to say. Like I feel like she's just she's more like bored, you know? Mm. Like Why are you with him? He's alright. For now. Yeah, I don't I, I don't like those vibes. I've tried to be good. It's just so boring. Yeah. You're different. There's no arguing that. I mean, she is free spirited, but she might be a little too free spirited. How are you feeling, Maddie? <laughs> Run. Yeah. <laughs> out. Get out of there. I'm fine. <laughs> you know. He's a bit naive. She's like a tear running down the side of her face. Like, <laughs> like how can I'm you fine. not? <laughs> Keep going. See the world. Just live on room service the rest of our lives. How'd that be? Oh, she got her claws at him. Wyatt, what are you talking about? Nothing. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yikes. Absolutely yikes. I feel great. Oh gosh. Yeah. What are you gonna what? do? What? Oh, he's lost it. He okay, he needs to be stopped. Could you imagine just riding a horse and getting sh just shot at? Oh, he's a werewolf now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's shooting the moon. Bell. Oh no. He has to be almost out of ammo, right? I'm only fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't like that. I don't no, don't put your gun away. What are you doing? <laughs> Sheriff. Oh damn. Yeah, about time you did something. Hey! You d bag. He just sat there. That was Wyatt. Oh, so it wasn't even. No. Law dog, you don't step aside. We'll tear you apart. <laughs> your friends might get me in a rush, but not before I make your head into a canoe. You understand me? Oh. <laughs> Go on, Billy. Man, those cowboys were approaching him like hyenas. He said, "Nah." You're so drunk, you can't hit nothing. Seeing double. I have two guns. One for each of you. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh, yo, that's so badass. 
<laughs> Yo, why are they so cool, bro? I'll see you soon. We'll meet again. Bro, Did do you... you not know that guns have a bigger range than right next to your face? I mean, he can still shoot you. Yeah, if he wants it. Bro, you were about to piss your pants when you put that gun to your head. What the hell? Oh, the boys are back in town. Oh. I mean, that's terrifying. At yeah. any point, it just chaos breaks out. What happened to her face? Did they do something? Oh, no, that's a bad, that's a nasty scar. Whoa. Whoa, no that deadly is weapons. Huge. Massive. Nobody's saying you can't own a gun. All we're saying is you can't carry a gun in town. Oof. <laughs> That's not so bad, is it? How are they going to enforce this? Literally, like, how do you even enforce that? I told you we weren't getting involved. You got us involved and you brought us here. Damn. These people are afraid to walk down the street, and I'm trying to make money off that like some goddamn vulture. I'm your brother, for Christ's sake. God, I don't believe this. Talk to him, will you, or hit him? <laughs> or what? <laughs> <laughs> hit him. <laughs> it's like one of the two will work, right? Gotta back your brother's play. I respect it like I figured you would. All right, now you listen to me. That's tough. Yeah. Just did like I thought you would. But a man lost his life, and I took it. You don't know how that feels, Mort. Believe me, boy, you don't ever want to know. You can feel that, like, truth. Mm hmm Maybe poker's just not your game, Mike. Let's have a spelling contest. How about if I just ring your spelling <laughs> down? <laughs> I'm the one who got cheated! You goddamn pimps! That was that was assault. You just spit on him. <laughs> Have you seen what goes on here? Spitting is not even close to assault. That <laughs> for these people. You goddamn pimps hard. You understand me? You pimp. Oh, she threatened me, you little son of a bitch. All right, all right. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> the guy was like, <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's just. I ain't gonna forget nothing. Threats are way better with a Western accent. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Is that blood? Yeah, that's blood. This might be it. Oh. Ew, I hope you die. <laughs> Do you imagine saying to a man with tuberculosis, I hope you die? You die? Like, that's he can hear crazy. it. First off. Yeah, right. Nobody cheated your wife. Just go home. <laughs> get somebody to rap on the beat or get some respect around here. Ooh! I was about to say this man needs to get taught a lesson. You tell him, man. Oh. That was mercy. Imagine getting pistol whipped and then waking up in a prison cell. <laughs> it's like crazy. They're making enemies, big time. Because they're they're establishing law and order. Yeah. Which wearing that badge don't make you right. The hell you think you are? Wearing the red sash doesn't make you right, dumbass. What? <laughs> like what? Easy, kid. I'm sorry. I ain't easy. And I ain't your kid. You take sorry and shove it up your ass. Man, they do not know what a reputation is. Yeah. I'll fight you right now. You need complete rest. He's not gonna live like that, though. It appears we must redefine the nature of our association. Don't I always take care of you? Nobody cares for you like me. I'm starting to think she wants him dead. And again, you may be the Antichrist. I mean, crazy. if we're going with four horsemen, if disease is one, then maybe he's disease. And yeah. like Wyatt would be death, and maybe Virgil would be the 
whatever maybe order if there's an order one i don't know i don't yeah. know, I know. No, we don't know we don't know what they are ah! <laughs> someone's typing right now yeah <laughs> guess maybe you better swear me in Ooh, he's like give me some authority oh, he's got the badge so he's doing it okay Oh, he's doing it. Being a peacemaker again. Back to the old days. They're carrying guns, Wyatt. Oh, I say, Verge, that's a misdemeanor. You want to risk all that over a misdemeanor? You're damn right, I'll risk it. They're breaking the law. Ugh. It's I complicated, mean, I, but at I the end of the day, you need, more, you need more enforcement to try to bring about the peace the way he wants to like right according to the law you need more officers you can't do that by yourself right all right Verge. you're going cool. and maybe now he has enough i mean verge i think war is one and verge would be war it seems like because he seems to be spearheading the like war, war between war. these yeah. War, yeah, you, you could be right. War, famine, death disease, is definitely one. Death. It or starts with a P. The fourth one's P. There's a P. There's a I P. Think famine and disease are one. No, I think famines. I think it's like famine slash disease. No, it's pestilence. Pestilence is one. And War, famine, pestilence? death, and pestilence. But what I think is pestilence, pestilence is disease. I think pestilence is oh. another meaning for disease, which would make sense then if Val. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if I was that, if I was the father of that kid, I'd be like, get your ass back here now. Oh, not what I want. But it's what Doc wants. Don't, don't mess this up. Ooh, ooh. And that's a lot of cowboys that y'all just shot at. Oh! Oh no! Damn! Oh. I'm not shooting. All right. Okay. Hold on. Damn, he's good. Doc is just firing. Holy guacamole! Oh, she's in here too? Yeah. You're a daisy if you do. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. All of you are under arrest. <laughs> Get out of here. You're not. We're the authority now. Yeah, That's it's probably a, what he's thinking. This is a town matter, county boy. I don't think I'll let you arrest us today, Behan. <laughs> it's so insane. It's so insane. It You're is. under arrest. No. Those men you killed were my friends. I'm just a nothing, but if I wasn't, I'd fight you right now, so I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I okay. I don't care if you <laughs> broke your elbow. <laughs> Literally, like, like, all right, bud. What do you want, Ringo? I want your blood. I want your soul. Oh my god. I'm not gonna fight you, Ringo. There's no money in it. Sober up. Come on, boys. You said get your broke, drunk ass home. You're not even worth my bullet. Literally, like. <laughs> you go to hell. Oh no. Johnny, don't! No, Johnny, don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. don't mind him. He just drunk, that's all. Interesting. Looks like they're starting to try to, like, yeah. I don't want to fuck with the law, you know? Like, it's like, are they buying themselves time? Yeah, are they planning something? Or are they just... the time. Oh, yeah, they are planning something. They're trying to buy yeah. themselves time. Like, wise up for right now. We'll get our. It's Verge. It's not Verge. No! Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. Uh... Yeah, he got shot. 
Oh no. Will you hurry with that water, please? Come on, Lou. It looks like he got shot in the arm, hopefully. I'm afraid your husband's going to lose the use of his arm. But I... Oh god, no. <laughs> and then it's like, what else can you do about it at that time? Literally, yeah. Good deal. Morgan, wait a minute! No. You had to be so damn smart. I'm sorry, Allie. I told you, Verge. Not now, what? He's gonna get fucked up. Yeah. Verge. He doesn't want to talk now, Wyatt! I mean, I no offense, but they're blaming Wyatt. Wyatt wanted to get them out of there from I don't the think beginning. Are they blaming him, or are they just... Every time she, they says something, they're like, not now! Yeah, this yeah is your... they are mad at him. No, they I don't said... know about what they did to your women. That was wrong. I'm here to let you know that it wasn't me. Brothers to the bone, right, McMasters? Not after this night. Oh, wow. Because she said, oh, what she said to Wyatt was you had to be so damn smart or something. And I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but he was being smart when he said, let's leave <laughs> originally. Oh my gosh. Somebody shut that dog up. The bullet's too deep. I can't get it out. Don't let him get you, brother. You're the one. Oh. That's brutal. Don't worry about that now. He warned them. Mm-hmm. Mark? No. <laughs> Mark? White's about to go on a rampage. Ooh, he's gonna be pissed. Oh, he came here for like happiness and peace and yeah. I want you to know it's over. Bye. Oh, smells like someone died. There's one thing I can promise you is that it is not over. It's over for it's over in one way, but not in the way that they think it's over. <laughs> Take still, Will. Finish it. Yeah. You're done. Oh yeah. Hey Maddie, where's Wyatt? Right behind you, still Will. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Let's go. Sent his brother off, said, take care. My business is not done. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is badass. What? That was insane. I see a red sash. I kill a man wearing it. So run. You tell him I'm coming. And hell's coming with me, you hear? <laughs> that was sick as fuck. And this shot is sick. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, so I dumb. That now. was crazy. Oh my gosh. They better fuck they better fucking run. <laughs> Bang. Red sash? Gotcha. Bing. <laughs> Done. Oh, they're hitting them in the homes and everything. They don't even care. They are just hunting wow. them down. Oh, 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 oh my golly. Oh. They're hanging them as a sign. They are letting people know. Holy. You can't be that confident. After how many you've lost, right? What? <laughs> oh no. 
No. Quiet, what are you doing? He doesn't care at all. <laughs> Could you imagine? I would be panicking that? if. I mean, is he a Terminator? No! What is he just. Oh! That's the head honcho, brother. He's gone. Bing! Oh my gosh. His head of the snake is gone. Now it's time for the meat. Let's find no Ringo. He's headed straight for us. Oh, there's still Ringo, yeah. That's the dude's supposed to take over. It's not revenge he's after. Justice. It's a reckoning. It's a reckoning. Of justice. Of justice. <laughs> Don't even know if that makes sense. Sense, but it sounds like we're correct. <laughs> so. There's about 30 of them. I gotta find a place to hole up. <laughs> Doc. Oh, damn. Oh. He does not. Got I'm not even gonna say he does not look okay. That's pretty obvious. Yeah, I th yeah. Put him up at my place. As long as it's just tonight. I know you boys have got to keep moving, but he looks pretty bad to me. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's pretty much knocking on death's door. door. Yeah. Yeah. It's like shaking and trembling. It's just. Oh, who's that? They got McMasters. Oh. It was a straight up fight, just you and him. Settle this thing once and for all. Seven o'clock. He goes you back. Tell him I'll be there. He goes back to Ringo. You said <laughs> me? <laughs> you gave him my <laughs> name? <laughs> He's, you're just supposed to bait him in for a fight. Why did you? <laughs> what do you mean? Me one on, did you say one on one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He didn't give me really much of a script to go off of. <laughs> <laughs> I can't beat him, can I? No. What? <coughs> Maybe he means, like, alone, like, there'll be someone else there, or, like, something Ow. like that. Maybe. What's it like to wear one of those? Awesome moment. Wow. <coughs> Rest in peace, Doc. He's alive still. He just coughed. I know, but he doesn't look like he's going to be alive. Fuck, Kim. <laughs> just saying. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. But it's not with you, Holiday. We started the game we never got to finish. <clears throat> Play for blood, remember? He is so badass. Oh my freaking gosh. He's so cool. Legal. Yo. All right, longer. Let's do it. <laughs> He's got little to lose. A, a lot to gain. Oh, what? You're no daisy at all. Poor soul. Oh, it wasn't planned. No, yeah, it was completely unplanned. Oh, I wasn't quite as sick as I made out. He knew he couldn't beat him, but he was like, screw it. But if I go, I can. That's crazy. My hypocrisy goes only so far. <laughs> and then he got the Marshall badge from because he never had one. So he's like, what's it like to wear that? So then when he gave it to him, he's like, now it's legal, boy. <laughs> oh. Rounding them up, yo. Oh That's insane. That is nuts. <laughs> He's panicking. He's like, please, faster. <laughs> oh, it's him again. No, no you don't. You don't get to just drop it. You don't get to just drop it. He's gotten spared like 15 times. How many chances does this man get? 
they just shook hands while riding horses at what 30 miles per hour yeah yeah he's done now rest mm. in peace now <laughs> then we're gonna see and him show up again i may have over i may have exaggerated my made stick. my stickliness <laughs> it's like what <laughs> Oh my gosh, what? this guy does not die. He does not die. <laughs> How are we feeling today, Doc? I'm dying. How are you? <laughs> Damn, that's a crazy line. <laughs> Brutal honesty. You're the only human being in my entire life that ever gave me hope. Aww. There's no normal life, why? It's just life. Wow. Hmm. Go grab that spirited actress and make her your own. Play for her. Play for me. Wow. If you ever had even the slightest feeling for me, leave now. That is heartbreaking. Thanks for always being there, Doc. It's so meaningful. Mm -hmm. He's like, don't watch me die right now. Right. Go out there and live for me, please. He wrote like a book or something, like a memoir. Is this based on a true story? Oh, this is funny. Wow. Now rest in peace. For real this Officially, time. officially. You ever see the sun come up over the Rockies? And you swear you're looking at heaven. That's a wild opening line. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he was more free-spirited than we thought. And this is yeah. the kind of life that he wants to live too. No money. I, I don't even know how we'll make a living. But I promise I'll love you the rest of your life. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm on board now. I'm on board. Don't worry, Wyatt. My family's rich. <laughs> All right, sounds good. <laughs> so he's hit a jackpot. <laughs> what should we do first? What you wanted to do the first night we met. May I have this dance? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's adorable. Maddie died of a drug overdose shortly after she left Tombstone. Oh, man. Wow. Virgil, despite the use of only one arm, became a town sheriff. Hey! Nice. Up or down, thin or flush, in 47 years, they never left each other's side. I think it might be a true story. The way it's, the way it's kind of being portrayed. Tom Mix wept. Wow. Okay. Holy crap. Holy crap. That was crazy. Some criminals in California. Yeah, Virgil, what are you going to do? He's <laughs> like, pulls you know, up like this. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what? I, didn't he die? Wait a minute. Doesn't look tuberculosis. <laughs> I believe I. <laughs> My sickliness. <laughs> All right, that was our reaction to Tombstone. If you liked what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch a full-length reaction to this, as well as various other movies, or get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube, you can check that out on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. Wow, this was a really, really um, fantastic Western movie something that i've noticed like you know when you hear about cowboys they're usually relatively glorified at least for me growing up they're mm. relatively glorified and you always kind of hear like cowboys versus indians or like you know cowboys doing cowboy things but you never i never really felt like i got the sense of how like you know gang like they were and like how, outlaws, like, basically. Outlaws, yeah, exactly. Like, I always kind of thought there were cowboys, and I and then I thought there were outlaws. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never mm, put one okay. in, the, in the same, and you never, I mean, I never really hear about, like, cowboys versus marshals, or cowboys versus, like, I that wasn't something that I'm 
that familiar with. Maybe I've heard it before. I, I don't know for sure, but um, not that prominently. So I thought it was a really cool perspective and a really cool aspect uh, for this film to take on something that we kind of talked about a couple times throughout the reaction is like, is this a true story? It felt yeah. towards the end there. Like it was really based on a true story. Um, you guys <coughs> let us know down in the comments below, but the way that they had the guy explaining things at the end and, and the book and everything, I feel like I've heard that Wyatt Earp is a writer, but I, I again, I, I could be completely off on this one. Let us know down in the comments, but either way, True story, not true story. It was still a really fun um, adventure to go on and a story about revenge or reckoning or justice or just kind of a compilation of all three of them. It was it was really, really, really cool. The, the, they made... Uh, well, okay, first of all, I need to give props to Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer because their performances in this movie um, mm -hmm. absolutely mind-blowing. Val... Okay, Kurt, let me give you your praise. You were fantastic. You were Oscar nomination worthy. Val Kilmer was Oscar winning worthy. Like his <clears throat> performance as Doc Holliday was next level. One of the best performances I feel like I've ever seen, hands down, period. Maybe not the best, but one of the best. And so big props to Val Kilmer. Kurt Russell and everybody else who was in this uh, movie, I didn't feel like any of the acting was was that bad at all, at, you know, throughout. So overall, really, really, really great acting. Surprisingly, uh, I don't know if I want to say surprisingly, but like unexpectedly exceeded my expectations with Val Kilmer and Kurt Russell's. I didn't think they were bad actors. I just, I had never seen a performance from them this freaking good. So huge, huge shout out to those two, especially Val Kilmer, Doc Holliday. So overall, yeah, like I said, again, their performances were, were were great. Um, there were some moments where I was like, eh, maybe not that um, necessary. I felt like the wives served decent purposes, right? And they served mm -hmm. decent, uh, and even the the love interest served a good purpose of of character development in the sense of you know helping show. Kurt Russell's character, why it kind of, kind of, does show his desire for that kind of life and kind of his mm -hmm. development into someone who's willing to go live that kind of life. Um, yeah. And I thought that that was great, but it felt, I don't know if I want to say disconnected. Everything did feel connected, but maybe it was just not, maybe because I'm just a 25 year old guy or whatever. But I mean, I, I thought the, the the tension between the cowboys the revenge all of that was on a next level compared to oh, the romance yeah. and like some of the development there i didn't it was good it fit with the movie but yeah. i think the shine of this movie was the the story of you know him wanting to, to like, basically the law being set down in place mm -hmm. and I, and and the action at the end the third uh, the third freaking act of this movie was was bonkers the first two acts kind of felt like there's this there's these characters look how badass they are look what they can do look what the you know look what's being set up and then the third act was like bam just everything went nuts off the wall and i thought it was really 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 cool to see it was definitely a great great western i had a great time with it um i'm sure there's more that i'll get into but i don't want to talk for too long without giving you your chance to say what are your thoughts on this movie um yeah just to touch on a couple of things that you touched on first uh yeah once again uh russell kurt russell absolutely fantastic fantastic but val kilmer just insane he, there's uh, there's movies where you have that dynamic of like the you know you have like the more you have like the the one like maybe like it could for an example if they were cops because it's kind of the same type of vibe where like you have the one that's like the strict like he's got that presence to him like he's about the book and then you have like the one that is kind of cocky he's got bravado but he backs it up he's able to back it up and can prove it and val just killed that role like you just felt like doc was that dude whenever he said something like when 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 um wyatt said something you're like oh shit but then when when doc said something you're like 
like, yeah, right. And then you're kind of like the way he kept talking, you're like, oh, he's serious. Like he really, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> like maybe, maybe not. Um, again, the rest of the acting was still fantastic. I agree with what you said. The tension between the Cowboys and Wyatt and the crew was took it was way above the level of the romance. I feel like the romance served more of a purpose of um why it's self-discovery yeah realizing he didn't want to maybe he wasn't ready to be settled down yet like you know discovering that he wasn't ready for that life um so and the, the wives they did their they did they served their purpose in this film for me you know i mean i i wouldn't say you didn't need him in it because i think that it added a little bit of tension having the wife see him flirt with the actress which was cool the mm -hmm. other wives you didn't see them that much they kind of they kind of came in here and there but Overall, I still think that they were a good addition. I think if they fit well from the from the jump of this movie, from the starting scene, they really did just set the tone. Like it's the wild, wild west, and um, kind of what you said too as well. We're like, yeah, I thought I always kind of viewed it as like you had like the marshals and the sheriffs, then you had cowboys who were like, hey, they uphold the law, but they're just like a little less. They're like kind of out of the books type, and then you had like outlaws. They're like the bad cowboys. Like I always thought those were like two separate. And maybe that maybe that is kind of how it developed. Maybe eventually outlaws were kind of like that. And then there were cowboys because that's kind of what Wyatt and them were until they got the Marshall badges. They were kind of being like these, you know, uh, vigilante marshals. I don't know. Even you guys let us know down below uh, if we're missing something with that. If there's more to it. Um, but I mean, again, like you said, overall, the, the film was fantastic. Some beautiful shots fantastic shots throughout it uh action was dope was super great and the story you know I, the story is very well paced so i mean i did just i enjoyed this movie i was pretty much locked in for most of the movie like everything that this just kept developing developing and i didn't really have too many big qualms with that um i'm glad that it was so well paced because two hour 15 minutes sometimes there's slow slow spots that we've seen in films but um other than that i don't really have much to say before we get into the rating so if you have anything else you want to add on to then We'll hop right into it. No, yeah, no, yeah. You were absolutely right. The cinematography was was amazing, and the pacing was really well done. But the pacing worked in kind of like a different way. Like it wasn't just like a there's this, and then there's some action, then there's this, and there's some mm -hmm. action. While there is that, but like I mentioned before, the pacing was really well done in the fact of like it really was a huge build up to that yeah climax at the end. Um, and speaking of like westerns, it's not real. I mean. I don't know if you would consider Django Unchained a Western, kind of, but yeah, um, in the Django Unchained uh, reaction in our review, I mentioned something similar to this where I just love the idea of, of, of a movie just kind of like getting you familiar, building this tension, but keeping it kind of relatively chill, mm -hmm. but like having that thing in the back of your head where you're just like, man, if they piss these guys off, it's <laughs> done. And yeah. then once they piss the guys off, it, you know, like, oh, gosh, this third act's about to be insane. And it was. It delivered. Uh, overall, really enjoyed this movie. Let's get into the rating. Um, just so you guys know, we go from zero to ten. Uh, we never give out zeros. We never give out tens. Why? Well, because by giving out a zero, you're saying nothing could ever be worse than this movie. By giving out a ten, you're saying nothing could ever be better than this movie. Both those things are impossible to say. We do give out decimal points like 9.9999 and so on. If we so, please, five is average, six is good, seven is great, eight is beyond that, nine is top tier cinema. <sighs> Man, okay. I want to put this at like an 8.9. Mm -hmm. five right like i, Ooh, I you just I'll, stunned it i'll tell you why i don't want to put it at top tier cinema and then i'll tell you why i do but i just can't put it there um so there, my my biggest qualm is that it did feel like there were some kind of uh disconnectedness in terms of like where like we've mentioned this before where some movies try to capture two genres and they do a good job mm -hmm. and then there are other movies that feel like they struggle a bit trying to be one or the other this is one of those movies that works really really well to me personally this is a subjective opinion this is one of those movies that work really really well as an action revenge thriller uh type of story and and the drama within that adventure action works really well as well but it felt like there were at times where the movie was trying to be too much of a drama 
and mm-hmm. less of these other things. And it felt like in some moments it was taking away from the glory that was this action thriller revenge uh, Western type of situation. Now, I'm not saying it should not have had drama. I think mm-hmm. the drama helped. It built it up even more. But I think there were some areas where they might have spent a little too much energy trying to be dramatic. Not the Doc Holiday scene. That was mm-hmm. perfect. Um, it, it, it did really kind of come down to the whole self-discovery and the drama mm-hmm. with the with the love interests and stuff like that. I really did feel like it was necessary. It was good. It was a fit, but it was overdone in some areas and maybe could have could have used some other um, things in that place instead, which is why to me there was a clunkiness. So I can't put it at a, at top tier cinema, okay. but I want to put it right fucking there because of some of the performances. Again, like I mentioned, Val Kilmer and Kurt Russell, those are top tier performances. Period. Mm-hmm. Top tier cinema. Val Kilmer, if I could rate his performance, I would literally give him a 9.95 <laughs> or something. Like, like almost a like perfect score because of I mean, I I'm not gonna forget that performance. Uh and and, the, and again, the 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 thrill of the whole situation, the suspense, the tension they build in so many scenes, their way of utilizing silence and, and mm-hmm. the great action shots and, and cinematography, the way that they were able to put everything together and just capture the essence of, like you said, the wild, wild west and have humor throughout. Yeah. Overall, fantastic, fantastic film. 8.95. Say, where do you put this? I'll give it a nine. I'll give it a nine. I can overlook the drama a little bit. I do get exactly what you're saying. And I do agree that there were some points where they did try a little too hard. Again, the Val Kilmer drama was like huge. It was perfect. Yes. Um, they just, they nailed it. It was just so, but again, trying to squeeze the romance piece in, there were parts where you're like, okay, but like, you know, if we didn't have this romance, you could still have that discovery of him being like, I mean, I guess the discovery story would have been him like, I'm not done being a cop. Like I need, like he wants to be in law, whatever the case is. It's subjective opinion, guys. We're just two dudes watching a movie, giving our thoughts on it. I think that's a fair point, though, um, with the drama. I will say uh, it gave, I, what gave it a nine from me, I mean, obviously cinematography, obviously the acting. Um, a lot of like the subtleties of like when we had Wyatt and the actress where he has a white shirt on a black horse. She's on a she has her all black fit on a white horse that they're starting the horses start getting it. And then they're talking. And then, you know, she was kind of functioning like. Uh, like I said, kind of like a devil on his shoulder, you know, this guy, he's like, no, I'm happy. Like, what do you mean? I'm happy. And she's like, oh, really? It's temptation. As you said, actually was the perfect. She was like a temptress. Like, are you happy? That was your wife, right? You know, what do you want in life? Kind of being like, are you sure this is what you want? Which I thought was cool. And I will say what surprised me, I mentioned it towards the end that we didn't see like a standoff between Wyatt and the dude uh, curly in the red, but it really turned out to be the standoff between Ringo and Val, which was dope because they built up to that and one it was unexpected two although they did build up to that like final standoff which is super dope it didn't build up necessarily to like what you kind of see nowadays which is like it has to be this big dramatic one-on-one that goes back and forth for 15 minutes like you know two people hammering out it was quick it was sweet and then the compilation of them just rounding the cowboys up it was a per i just loved the way they wrapped up act three of the film um Again, a brilliantly done film. It was fantastic. And I once again, I mean, I've said this on several movies. Mad I didn't see it earlier. Glad I got to see it with Cam and with you guys um, because it was an absolute blast. And it deserves all the praise uh, that it's gotten. And so thank you guys for, I believe, was this suggested by? Yes, this was suggested. Yeah. Yeah, so, so thank you guys. Great suggestion. Yeah, this was a really great watch. All right. Well, with that being said, thank you guys again for being here. Thank you for the support. Zay, I know you have a Twitch. It's a new guys. My Twitch will be linked down in the description below. Feel free to tune in, stop by, and say hi. It's always a good time. Sometimes I have Cameron on stream, and him and I are playing some games. Sometimes I have my girlfriend on stream, and we play games together. Always a good time. Again, a lot of people from the community coming in. Been actually just getting a lot of people in general, more people coming in from different communities as well. So feel free to mix and mingle with any of them. And um, yeah, guys, I hope to see you there. I will have a schedule linked on my Twitch channel as well. All right. Yeah, guys, check it out. It's a great time. With that being said, listen, if you're in the Wild West and you got a red sash, you might just want to do what Isaiah mentioned in this reaction. We don't know if it made the edit or not, but just so you guys know, 
ring that red out, turn it to a white, and wave that shit because you we'll do not want to mess with white. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys again. We'll see you on the next one. And peace. peace.